Good morning. We will pay attention to VAT on sales and debtors allowances today. Sold goods to be low for 15,960 VAT inclusive. That means this 15,960 equals 114% because it includes the VAT. Profit of 25% on cost price. So the cost price will be 100%. The sales price VAT inclusive is 114% and they gave us the figure as 15,960. VAT is 14% and the sales price excluding the VAT is 100%. If we want to calculate the VAT, the one that we want 14 divided by the one that we know, 114 times the amount, will give us 1960. If we want to calculate the sales income for the business, the percentage that we want to know, 100, divided by the percentage that we know, 114 times the amount, will give us 14,000 rand. When we calculate the cost price, we must calculate the cost price on the sales price excluding the VAT because the cost price does not include VAT. The sales price therefore is 14,000. They told us that it's 25% on cost price, so cost price equals 100, profit 25, sales price 125. We calculated that the 125% equals 14,000. So if we want the cost price, the 100 divided by the one that we know, 125, and that will give us 11,200. In the debtors control column, we will indicate that the total amount that the debtors owe includes the VAT, and that is 15,960. The sales and that output must equal the debtor's control. So the sales is 100% of the 114 and that will give me 14,000. So if I want to calculate the sales, the one that I want, 100, divided by the one that I know, 114, times 15,960. If I want to calculate the VAT, the one that I want, 14, divided by the one that I know, 114, and that will give me 1,960. And then we must remember that the cost of sales is calculated on the sales price, excluding that, and we determined that this figure is 11,200. Sold goods to else for 9,000, that exclusive. So the VAT is not included in the 9,000. A profit of 50% on cost price is made. Therefore, the cost price will be 100%, profit 50, sales price 150. The sales price including the VAT is 114%. The VAT is 14%. And the sales income for the business, excluding VAT, is 100%. This 100% was given as 9,000. If we want to calculate the sales price, the one that we want, 114, divided by the 100 that we know, times the amount, and that will give me the sales price, including VAT. If we want to calculate the VAT, the one that we want to calculate 14% on the percentage that we know, 100, and that will give me 1,260. The cost price is calculated on the sales price, excluding the VAT. So we will show that the sales price of 150% equals 9,000 Rand. If we want to calculate the cost price, the one that we want, 100, divided by the one that we know, 150, and that will give me 6,000 rand. In this 
entry, the sales price excluding the VAT was provided. So the one that was given was 9,000 Rand. If I want to calculate the debtors figure, the total one, I'll say the percentage that I want, 114, divided by the percentage that I know, 100, times 9,000, and that will give me 10,260. If I want to calculate the VAT, the one that I want, 14, divided by the one that we know, 100, times 9,000, and that will give me 1,260. And we calculated that the cost of sales is 6,000 rand. That of 1540 is included in the goods sold to Kluta. So they give me the VAT this time, so the 14% equals the 1540. Sales price excluding VAT will be 100%, and sales price including VAT will be 114%. If I want to calculate the sales price including the VAT, the percentage that I want, 114, divided by the one that we know, 14, will give me 12,540. If I want to calculate the sales price excluding the VAT, the one that I want, 100, divided by the one that I know, 14, and that will give me 11,000 Rand. When we calculate the cost price, we must take into account if the profit is made on sales price or cost price. In this case, the profit is made on sales price. Therefore, the sales price is 100%, profit 25. If we make a profit, the cost price must be less, so we will subtract the 25, and the cost price equals 75%. The sales price equals 11,000. And we have to calculate the cost price on the sales price, excluding the VAT. So if we want to calculate the cost price, the one that we want, 75, over the one that we know, 100 times the amount will give us 8,250. In this example, the VAT was provided as 1,540. If I want to calculate the debtors figure, it means the one that I want, 114, divided by the percentage that we know, 14, times the amount. If we look at the sales figure, the one that I want is 100, divided by the one that we know, 14, and that will give me the sales figure. And then cost of sales we calculated as 8,250. What did we learn? Determine if the sales price include or exclude VAT. If the amount includes VAT, the amount is equal to 114%. If the amount excludes VAT, the amount is equal to 100%. Determine if the profit was made on cost price or on sales price. If the profit was made on cost price, the cost price equals 100%. If the profit was made on sales price, the sales price equals 100%.